Changing the Allison spin-on filter is one of the easiest things you can do yourself. It's good practice to replace this filter about every 10 to 15,000 miles. A good rule of thumb is every other oil change. Before getting started, gather up a drain pan, a few rags, a filter wrench, and of course a new filter. Use the Allison OEM filter for best results. It is located under the truck on the driver's side of the transmission. To remove it, use a filter wrench and turn it counterclockwise until you feel it become loose enough to finish the removal by hand. Once the gasket breaks seal of the transmission, it will start to leak fluid out, so be ready to catch any spillage with a drain pan. Once you remove the filter, look for the small disc magnet. It may be stuck to the top of the filter or on the transmission. Remove it and give it a good cleaning with a rag and a bit of brake cleaner solvent. Reinsert the magnet back on the transmission. If it is missing, we offer a replacement magnet. Use a bit of clean transmission oil to lubricate the seal on your new filter. Make sure the sealing flange on the transmission is clean as well. Install the new filter and hand tighten it. Finally, wipe the filter and surrounding area clean. Start the truck up and check the fluid level of the transmission. Make sure it has oil showing on the dipstick. We are not concerned with level right now. In order to make an accurate check, the transmission must be up to operating temperature. Take a short three or four mile ride and then check the fluid level. The fluid level should be at the lower end of the hot range on the dipstick. Don't forget, you can purchase all the items used in this video right from our website.